and far as lonely. <laughs> I'm far from lonely, baby. I'm far from lonely. You better know. Video's gonna come in due time. Trust and believe me. Believe me, believe me. What's up, guys? Letitia here, and I'm back again with another reaction video. So guys, listen, on today's video, I'm going to be reacting to um, the video that Kicking It With Sin City posted reading Adrian Slay's For Filth. But before we get into it, make sure you guys do me a favor and you hit that subscribe button, tap the notification bell right next to it, comment, share, and like this video. So I'm gonna pull up um, the video of Kicking It With Sin City given <laughs> Adrian Slay, she read her for filth, y'all. When I tell y'all she read her for freaking filth, I was like, oh no. But I wanted to react to this video because there was something that she said towards the end of the video that really caught my attention. And, and what she said was something to the effect that she um, already has somebody in her life that is gonna be appearing on her platform very soon. So I wanted to just get into that and also dissect some other things that I saw and heard in this video that was, um, you know, it just like rose an eyebrow for me. And I got my little paper and pen and I'm gonna jot down some, um, notes so that I know what I want to talk about as far as what she's saying on this video. So we're going to go ahead and look at it together. Hold up, y'all. Okay, guys, this is the video. What's up, my Sin City crew? I'm back again with another video for you guys today. I'm addressing a video that was directed to me, and I'm going to tell you all about it. Huh? Yeah. First of all, let me get you straight, honey. Miss whatever you call yourself, Walt, sister, supposedly sister adrian let me tell you something first of all your brother didn't leave me i put your brother out of my apartment i put your brother out of my apartment honey i had him running back to milwaukee shaking in his boots ask him ask him about it y'all want to sit up there and act like y'all just so perfect and he just left me and walked so good girl come on come on Y'all some retarded ass, slow ass people, both of y'all. He's slow, you call him slow, but you slow as well. You just as slow as the day is long. But let me let me make this clear. I put him out of my apartment. For number one, it's because he mistreated my grandson. He mistreated my grandson. My grandson told me that Walt was unplugging the internet while he was using and playing the game and my daughter came out the door and she said because her TV was messing up and he was unplugging the internet, the Wi-Fi. And my grandson said he was using the bathroom in my bathroom because my daughter was taking a shower in hers. And uh, Walt made him come out the bathroom while he was uh, using it because he needed to get in there and smoke his weed or whatever he had to do. I was at work. But it's, it's crazy because Walt ain't never hid the fact Hey guys, so thank you for that he disliked my grandson. He always showed from the day my grandson came to that house, it was always a uh, negative energy between him and Walt. Walt have always disliked my grandson. So don't come to me and come at me like you know what's going on in my household because you don't. You don't know what's going on. Yes, Walt paid my rent. Yes, Walt paid the Wi-Fi. So what? He lived here. He made videos in my apartment. What, he supposed to sit around and just live for free? Girl, please. Are you stupid? And then you want to sit and take off your brother? You don't even know him. You only met him probably twice in your whole life. He already told me the whole story. He don't 
don't even like your ass because you tried to be little his his real sister because you ain't his real sister. He, you tried to be little his his real sister. You fake, you messy, and you. He came back to uh, me and me. Uh, Adrian said, "Reach out to her." I wouldn't reach out to you for shit in the world. I don't do messy. I don't do drama. I'm in my own damn world. I don't have time for your fake ass. That's why I didn't reach out to you. I'm not going to reach out to you. You're a scum. You're a bum. You're a hood rat. Look at your fucking apartment. My apartment is 1200 and some, baby. It might be small, but it's expensive. You can believe that. And come for me, I don't think you want to do that. Because guess what? If you want to come for me, you didn't even have to make a video. Won't know my address. Won't well, know where I live. Bring your bad, big, bad king ass to Memphis. And watch me have your ass shaking in your boots running back to Milwaukee. You think you think it's a damn joke? Bring your ass here. Bring your ass on to my address. You ain't even got to talk about it. This is my last time making a video about this. This is my last time addressing this. This is my last time speaking to you on this. I'm not going to go back and forth with you because you're a non-factor ass bitch. Okay? That's what you are to me. You're nothing. You're nothing. The way Walt talked about you, you ought to go hide up on a rock and never show your face again. But it's all good. Because you don't know shit about me. And he can't tell you nothing about me. Only thing he can tell you I mistreated him or I used him. Baby, he ain't been used. He ain't never been used. Well, you, you think he's going to stay for free and work? Bitch, I was working at Amazon as a team lead when I met Walt. Talking about I'm jumping jobs up. You don't know shit about me. You don't know shit. Stop and listen to motherfuckers, okay? Because you don't know a damn thing about me. Here he is. I let your bum ass brother move in my apartment. And I probably did do it for all the wrong reasons, but you know what I'm saying? It happened. It's over. Get over it. And you, girl, you talking about putting your hands on me. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. I don't fight, baby. But you can bring your tough, bad king ass to Memphis. Bring your ass to Memphis and we'll see what's up. Stop talking behind your damn camera, your videos, and be about this business. Since you want to throw all kinds of wrenches in the game, bring it on. Bring it on, sister. I don't care nothing about you. You look like a big ass man. It don't matter. I got something for your ass, your big ass. You big man looking 70 year old looking ass bitch. I'm 51 and run rings around your dumb ass. I might not have no both butt, but I look better than you, baby. You look just like a walk. You look like a walk in a wig. That's what you look like, a man with a wig on. Girl, please, you are, you are junkie. You're a recovering crackhead, I guess. You probably still on crack. I don't know. And you're, you're a prostitute. So what can you tell me? What can you say to me? What can you say to me? You can't have kids. Your womb messed up. So what can you say about me? You know? What can you say about me? You can't say nothing. Did I use your brother? Your brother didn't get used. I put your brother out for a very, very good reason. Anybody that got good sense or no and will tell you the reason, I mean, if a motherfucker mistreating your love one, that's just like you coming at me because you said you love Walt. You don't love Walt. You don't even know him. He don't know you. But I love my kids and I love my grandkids. I love my family. Yeah, I'm going to do whatever I can. And I'm going to do whatever I have to do to get rid of the problem. I'm waving him around him. Because if he don't like him, I don't know what he might do next. I'm not going to even give him a chance to find out. You got to let kids know they worthy of love. You wouldn't know that because y'all don't even know what love is. You sit and talk about your own mama, you stupid ass, big, fucked up body ass bitch. Girl, sit your dumb ass down. Stop making videos trying to uh, come up on me and walk. Girl, get your life together. You over there selling pussy now. Better shut the fuck up talking to me, girl. Yes, I said it. And I don't care if I don't make a dime off of YouTube. It doesn't matter. Off this video. Because I'm coming to you. Don't, don't come for 
with me, baby. You recruit, you, 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 I ain't, I can't understand people. You sit and listen to your damn brother. But if your brother tell the truth, you will know the truth. Get the facts before you come to me. You big old man looking hell for you. Girl, get some business. And to my subscribers, my true subscribers that really love me and watch me, please, please forgive me. But this lady has came at me and been throwing shade at me for the last couple of days. And yes, they talking about I cuss people. I sure did. Because y'all in people business and don't even know what's going on. Until you learn the facts, then don't speak on me. Because you don't know what the hell going on up in my household. You don't know what I went through this whole year. I'm not going to bash walk. I'm not going to tell y'all our whole life. But I will tell you he didn't like my grandson and he mistreated my grandson. I feel like it's mistreating when you do a kid like that. feel like you mistreat he mistreating him i could be at work and it might not be no food in the house he'll go get him something to eat knowing that my grandson and my daughter my daughter don't drive and you get you something you sit in front of them and eat that's mistreating no he don't have to do nothing for my family but if you in my life and you call yourself with me you're supposed to support me when i'm not around because guess what it was times where i went and got his broke ass something to eat and spend my money. That's all I want to do is sit in front of the game, play the game, and 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 and, and talk on the phone and smoke weed. You'll get tired of it too. It doesn't matter what you say about me. I did what I had to do. I got rid of a a person that didn't bring uh, pleasure to me. He didn't bring uh, anything to me worth, worth having. So yes, I got rid of the problem. He didn't make me happy. Y'all say, when he sat in the house, it ain't nowhere to go. Won't have access to my Camaro. The same Camaro I'm sitting in, he drove every day to do what he wanted to do. Go to the grocery store, whatever he needed to do, he had access to my car. He didn't have to sit in the house. So until you know the facts, don't come at me because I got something for your ass. And I'm not trying to be ugly to my supporters. Please, y'all look over. I'm talking to this scumbag-ass Milwaukee mutt duck. That's who I'm talking to. That's who I'm talking to. A real mutt duck that ain't got nothing going on. You spend your last on an ass job and still don't look good. Come on now. At least if I lose weight, you always hot. But she, she this, she that. Guess what? When I lose weight, it's going to be natural. I'm going to lose it on my own. Just like you tried to be little to your own sister, talking about your sister husband tried to mess with you for what? Why would like Walt said? Why would he try to mess with a son like you when he got a a boss? He got a boss wife. You a bum, a bum to a boss. Come on now, stop being fake. Stop being seeking attention. You're a pitiful ass. 48 year ass old lady. You pitiful. You sorry, you pitiful, and everything else. You one sorry ass lady. You jealous, you mad. And as far as a man leaving you, girl, please, have you ever had a man? Have you ever had a man? You only have dates. You only have dates. You're a prostitute. You sell your body. You're a prostitute. You ain't gonna never have a man, stupid. Anyway, you heard what I said. You know my address. You can come see me any time, baby. I'm waiting. Walt well, know where I live. He know the address. You ain't got to wait on Walt. Bring your ass. Bring your ass. Bring your ass. Bring your ass, baby. I got something for you. This Memphis old ho going to whoop your old, miserable, Milwaukee mud duck ass. Bring it on, bro. Yeah, what you want to talk shit? You ain't bad. You ain't bad. You just look like a man. You just look like a man. You ain't bad. You're a pitiful ass female. You know what? Until you know the fact, you shouldn't have never addressed me. I'm with the shit. 
I might not act like it. I'm with the shit, baby. Bring it on. You met your match. You might scare a lot of people, but you don't scare me, honey. Not if what is this? Not what is this? Who is this? I live with it. Bring it on. I'm inviting you. Come. Won't well, know my address. Bring it on. You can believe that. And fuzz lonely. <laughs> I'm far from lonely, baby. I'm far from lonely. You better know. Video's gonna come in due time. Trust and believe me. Believe me. Believe me. I think you lonely, though. You this, up at 2 o'clock in the morning channel, making videos of me. What you thinking about this me? This is her I'll most get down like that, baby. exciting you look, I videos you she ever made. Walt even told me you mess with women, so. I'm kind of sure you like cats, but uh, you can't have this cat. You hurt me. I don't want you. Girl, get a life. You were thinking about me early in the morning. I was in the bed asleep, sleeping real good. If it weren't for them uh, inboxing me, telling me about, yeah, I got, you see, I got the ring on. Go keep it. He paid 2000 for this one. Yes, 2000 and I'm going to keep my ring. I might pun it, though, you know. Ain't no telling. I might pun it. <sighs> yep, 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 yep. They say I'm conceited. I might be. They say I'm conceited. I might be. Yes, I might be. Yes, I might be. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to give your ass something to talk about. Prostitute. <laughs> Girl, get a life. And oh, yeah. My daughter told me to tell you take that cheap ass wig off of your head. That synthetic wig. A synthetic wig that you got from the beauty supply. Take it off your head because it don't look right. Yeah, she told me to tell you that. Yeah, go get your hair braided. Your, your brother got this beard from me too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Will the real Cindy please stand up? I'm waiting 15 minutes. But anyway, yeah, 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 I'm out. Yeah. So, there's so many things that I want to say about this. First of all, in the beginning, when she said she had Walt sent back to, Memphis, to um, Minnesota, shaking in his boots, what does she mean by that? Did she pull out a gun on him or something? Because remember she said to Adrian in her video, she don't fight. So to me, when somebody say they don't fight and they're inviting you to come to their house, that mean they got some heat waiting for your ass. Trust and believe, right? Um, so I'm thinking that maybe she drew her gun, if she has a gun or whatever, on Walt and told him to get the heck up out of her damn house. So, because how would, she, how would she have him sent back to Milwaukee shaking in his boots? What does she do? What happened? Right? Okay. So now she talked about the grandson and Walter not having a relationship. Walter, you know, the negative energy from the day that Walt first met him and this and that or whatever, whatever. I'm just wondering, like, when, when she noticed this, did she go to Walt and talk to him about it? Like, how long has she known that, how long has she been feeling like this? You know, that had to be an uncomfortable situation being in a household with your fiance and he has negative energy with your grandson. And how old is this grandson? Because why is it that Walt is having negative energy or don't like a child? Like, what is it about this child that is making Walt not like him? Like, what? what how old is he? Somebody got to let me know how old his grandson is. All the, all the people that down with the Sin City crew and chilling with Walt, drop it in the comment section. We need to know how old this baby is, okay? Mm. Oh, she mentioned about Walt paying her rent, right? She said Walt pays the rent, Walt pay the Wi-Fi, whatever the case may be. Fine, nothing wrong with that. Like she said, he lived there, he gotta pay something. Do we have to pay the entire rent? That's up for debate. That's how she run her household, that's how she run her household. But I don't blame her for not, for having him 
pay bills. You know, you can't come in my house and live for free. And as far as her calling him a bum, I think that a lot of, it was a lot of people in the comments making statements like, oh, a bum, but he's paying $1,200 a month rent and um, he bought you a $2,000 ring. How could a bum, you know, afford to do things like that or whatever? But let's think about this carefully. According to what, what we see in these YouTube streets, before Walt moved with Cindy to Memphis, he was living with his sister. So to me, it sounds like he doesn't have his affairs in order like a man should have. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think he had, his account wasn't monetized for a long time because he had to have a bank account. So I guess to me, in my mind, those would be reasons to call somebody a bum. That's probably what she's talking about. Like, you know, he sit on the couch, he's smoking weed, he's, you know, talking on the phone all day, not doing nothing. So I guess that's why she calls him a bum. That's what I'm thinking. Because those those would be the reasons that I would call somebody a bum. Calling somebody a bum doesn't mean that they don't have money to do things. You're just a bum. Now, she called him broke. I don't know if he was broke. Because how could a broke person pay $1,200 a month rent? Or whatever the case may be. Unless YouTube checks ain't that big. And he was just using whatever he had to pay the rent. And had nothing left over. Who knows? We don't know, right? But... The other thing is, I feel like her telling all the tea on what Walt said about Adrian, I think that was so, so wrong, the way she took their pillow talk and threw him under the bus. That was absolutely terrible because at the end of the day, whatever her and Walt talked about, that was between the two of them. And... um. Walt never said anything to degrade her, put her down, or throw her under the bus about anything on his video. For, so for her to come out and do that, that was so, so wrong. That was so wrong. And she see that this man is trying to build a relationship with his sister that he don't know, according to her and Walt. And maybe he didn't know her. Maybe he don't know her. But he's trying to get to know her now. What's the problem? So, so let's get to the point of the reason why you're here for the title of this video. And that is, I truly believe, like I said in my video yesterday, Cindy had a man in her life for a while before she ditched or put Walter out, according to her, whatever. And I've noticed in the comment section on one of, uh, on Cindy's video, someone said, that same thing that I just said, that she had to have this man all along. Cindy commented and added the girl and said, right. So she confirmed it right there that she had someone all along. I think that Cindy was an opportunist. I think that she knew what she was doing when she got with Walt. She knew that she wanted to create this platform on YouTube. And not so much because she got this bubbly personality and she's going to bring a lot to the camera because she don't. She knew that she needed to use Walter to even get it because without him, she's boring. She would have never brought nothing to the, to, the, to the YouTube streets. Okay? So like I was saying, not because she got this bubbly personality and she was going to bring something to YouTube, but because she knew she could get a check. Okay? And... Regardless if Walt introduced it to her or not, she she's going to get a check. But she also knew that getting Walt on her side was going to get her that check quicker. Okay? And, you know, now all of this happens. And then you say in your video that you ain't lonely. You think, you think I'm lonely or whatever. And she just was playing with her hair it was just like so like that whole end of the video it was so high schoolish to me it was just like girl are you 51 or 15 i don't know did we need to flip that number around what was going on at the end of that video and just the fact that she made the video in general was way too much for me it was way way too much for me way too much 
why did this grown woman make this video? <sighs> guys, let's chop it up some more in the comment section. I want you guys to tell me. Do you think that Cindy from Kicking It With Sin City had a man all along and she was using Walt to get the notoriety on YouTube for YouTube checks. Because that's what I think. Even, even if he wasn't there all along, he was there for some time. And she waited for the perfect opportunity. Whatever that was for her. To kick him out, as she said, and send him back to Milwaukee, shaking in his boots. Whoever this man is, He's waiting in the wings right now for the world to see him. Because y'all heard her. She said video is coming soon. She said video coming soon. Hmm. So that means she bringing him to the platform to rub it all up in Walt's face. It, ooh, y'all. Another thing is she's so boring in her videos. It, she doesn't seem to have much of a personality. But this person that we just saw in this last video where she's addressing Adrian, that person had personality. And I think that's what people want to see. You know what I'm saying? She ain't got to get up there coming for people and beefing with people or whatever. But people want to see more of that personality right there. Anyway, that's it for this video. I want to thank you guys for watching. Leave me a comment in the comment section on your thoughts on this whole situation. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, tap the notification bell. Tap the notification bell right next to it. Comment, share, and like this video. And as always, peace, love, and hair grease. Bye now.